a far eastern land across the sea. A young man who has yet to know his potential. This potential is a power that could either destroy him or realize his will. His courage shall determine his fate. The path he must traverse fraught with adversity I await whilst praying. For this destiny predetermined since ancient times. A pitch black night unfolds with the morning star as its only light. And thus the saga begins. Son, focus on. Do you remember Chao Sun Ming? 
Zhao? That's the name of the man you killed in Moon Swan. It can't be you! Get up. I'll allow you to die like a warrior. For Hazuki Sensei. Son, you should still be resting. Uh, I'm fine, really. And you? Are you all right? <sighs> yes, but I must keep busy, otherwise I'll get depressed. I understand. But you needn't work too hard. <sighs> yes. Oh, by the way, I have this for you. This is for today. From tomorrow, I'll leave it on top of the shoe cabinet every day. Do you know where Fuksan is? Fukara-san? I believe he's in the dojo. Really? Thanks.
Keep your balance. That's right. Hey! <laughs> now listen. Tighten up your abdomen. Straighten up. Find your center of balance. Yes, like that. Hey! Yes, good. Son, is everything okay? Don't worry, I'm fine. I want to ask you about that man. Oh, that man. Uh, the man called Landy. What did he talk with my father about? Landy demanded the mirror, and then they threw me out of the dojo. The black suits. Catch the names. I don't know. They came out of nowhere. I see. Thanks, Fukusan. If you remember anything at all, be sure to tell me. Ryo-san, why? What you gonna do? Ryo-san, where are you going? You're not going after them. Please don't. Look what they did to Hazuki Sensei. They killed my father right in front of me. I will have my revenge. I need to do this for my father. Hi, Megumi. Uh, uh, you got a kitten in there? You promise not to tell my mommy? Sure. Okay, then I'll show you. Is this your kitten? Uh-uh. But this kitty, see? She's all alone. All alone? Yep. See, the other day, when it rained, a car ran over her mommy. My big sister saw it. She said it was a big black car. A black car? Yeah, and she said it was really scary. And then me and sis, we buried the mommy cat. And so now, I can be the kitty's mommy. But... Mommy says we can't keep the kitten at home. So you're going to keep her here? Yeah, everybody's helping out too. Like Kota, Yasuo, and Kayo. I see. Kitty don't look so good. Think she's hungry? Hmm. Wait a second. Okay. Do this, so it's easier to eat. Hmm? Wow, she's eating! 
She's so tiny, but already an orphan. It's so sad. Yamagishi-san almost got ran over too. Yamagishi-san? Yeah, the car was going so fast he got shocked and fell. And hurt his backside, so now he stays home all day. When I go to the candy shop, I always stop by to visit him. Yeah, it's close by there. Megumi, you need to be careful around cars too. Yes. Well, I've got to go now. But wait, we gotta think of a name for the kitty. Oh, well, when I think of a good one, I'll let you know. You promise? Bye-bye, y'all. Bye-bye.